Hey everyone, Dylan back here today with another blind accessible game overview. <clears throat> so, this game is called Grim Quest Old School RPG. It is an RPG, <laughs> which I apologize because you'll see a couple more RPG games coming up in the future. Uh, I play RPG games primarily, they're kind of the game I games I like to play, so that's kind of what you're going to see. Now, this one is an interesting game. It's kind of more spooky of the type of game, but um, it is on iOS and Android. Now, for iOS, um, <clears throat> it is... Um, you can play, like, a little bit of the iOS version. You can play a little bit of it, and then you have to pay to play the rest of the game, which I think is fine. And then um, on Android, it is actually completely free with ads. So you gotta deal with some ads, but it is free on Android and it's another Android option, which I've said it's hard to find, like blind accessible Android games. So this is one that's uh, pretty fun. You could buy the full version on Android if you wanted to like get rid of the ads or whatever, uh, but yeah, and then there are also some other things you could buy, some extra stuff and extra, like, gold and stuff if you really wanted to, but yeah, so that's kind of where that is. So I'm going to just go over some overview stuff. The, the game will has a tutorial which will teach you most things. Um, I'm doing it on my iPad this time around because of the issue of me bumping the mic on my phone but also because i don't have it on my new phone and i would have to start a new game and then i'd have to run through the tutorial and i didn't want to have to do that on my phone so it's it's fine on both so i'm gonna first show you a little bit of creating a new character i'm not actually gonna fully go through with it but you know play so you have um play settings settings i will also leave a link for this game in the description of course hopefully i remember but yeah extras and then extras credits credits x settings so we'll settings like settings real quick <clears throat> dungeon avatar you can choose your dungeon avatar um off there's other on settings. textured dungeon tiles St textured dungeon tile fast Normal animation speed. Animation speed doesn't really matter for blind people, but nightmare. Grayscale. Um, Default. Visual theme. Left paren requires restart right paren. Yeah, visual theme. <laughs> Guess Deep doesn't really matter for animation, the blind person. Animation normal person. fast. Texture done on off. Music. 50% adjustable. Um, you can adjust the music here. Swipe settings, up or down with one finger to adjust the nice. value period. Um, I'm kind of doing this, like, I don't know how loud the music will be. Hopefully it's not too loud. Um, sound. You have your sound. 100% adjust vibration. Vibration. On. Off. My iPad does not have vibration. Blood. Blood. On. Off. Reset tutorials. You'd reset the tutorials. Back. And now back. Back. This video might Grim be a quest. little long, and I apologize for that, but uh, bear with me. Play. So we'll play. Select character slot. Uh, I think you have like up to four character slots once you've bought the full game. Drake, bounty hunt, trail armorer, close. Empty slot three. Empty slot four. Dismiss. Empty dismiss. Dismiss. Empty slot four. Yeah. So there are four um, character slots, so you can make multiple characters. Empty slot three. In, in different games. So we're gonna click on empty slot three. Difficulty. And then. You have some difficulties to choose and some settings. Classic. So there's classic. Grim. Grim. Hardcore. Hardcore. Nightmare. Nightmare. Um, it its default is grim, and it, once you click on a, a difficulty, you can like swipe over. Challenging, but also rewarding. Comma the default difficulty. Left paren expect to die. Comma learn from your mistakes, and come back wiser and stronger. Right paren. And as you see, it'll give you a description of the difficulty and what it entails. Permadeath. Uh, permadeath uh, is the thing on that you can have on or off. Uh, you know, if you die, you die, and you have to start all over. That's something you can choose. 
Challenging but also rewarding compromise on, off. When you die you lose customizable modifiers. On. Mm, yep, that. Yeah. Off. No difficulty customization mid hyphen game. You can have. Advanced settings. Back. Advanced settings. And then there are some advanced settings. I'm not going to go through those, but you can on your own. It's like basically how big of a dungeon size you want to. Because the way this game works is you go through a dungeon and it's like tiles, so squares. You go by square by square through the dungeon until you complete, you know, your objective, which is to find the exit or to beat a boss or, you know, what have you. But the main objective is to just get through the dungeon to get to the exit and then go through all the dungeons levels of an area so yeah um back start game i'm gonna click start game um start game it doesn't select actually font. start but medieval select font select font selecting a font image select app Im select avatar select an avatar unnamed hero text field and here's where Double you tap can, to edit, um, period. uh, name your character. 20, King, Cobra, Redact, Select and Escape Slave, uh -oh. No, Cleric, Unnamed Hero, Text Field, 20 characters remain, Select Character Background. And then you have a character background, which there's a bunch to choose from. Adept, hyphen 15% spell upgrade cost. You worked as a performer, comma, using your natural affinity towards magic for parlor tricks and cheap light shows. Image. It's white cool. text they, on a black background. A Adept hyphen 15% spell that. upgrade cost period. You worked as a performer, comma, using your natural affinity towards yeah, magic for a, parlor uh, tricks and cheap light shows. Description of the background of the, what, like, who you were, kind of, and it's kind of neat, and then the benefits you get with that. Aristocrat. Start with 300 bonus gold. You were armorer. Hyphen 33% equipment I'm not upgrade go through cost. All these cause there's you a picked lot. up the basics of the armor <laughs> so, apostrophe S craft, but, but you never bothered to complete your training. You Image. Cool. Vampiric. Bad. Um, King. Select animal companion. You get an animal companion. Now, this. Uh, it's not gonna actually, like, be. Like. It just gives you an extra effect in battle, but it doesn't actually fight alongside you or you do anything else with it. It's just kind of there as, like, a, a passive skill if you will, kind of type thing. King, Cobra, retaliation colon 10% chance to poison the attacking enemy comma inflicting 2 DMG per turn. Image, Vampiric, Bad, Drain life colon 12% chance to heal for 1 slash 2 of inflicted DMG on physical attack. Image, White text on a black background. Mm. Yeah, vampiric Bat point. period, so Drain life colon 12% chance to heal for 1 slash 2 of inflicted DMG on physical so attack. show you more of the game. Okay, now we're back on the main screen. Grim Quest play. Select play. character slot. Drake, bounty Mine. hunter, comma LVL period six classic. Yep, I'm on the easiest Drake, difficulty bounty setting. Bounty city of Ashbourne hyphen day seventeen left per end tap to access council chambers right per end. Okay, so there's going to be a lot to explain here, but this is basically I didn't explain the plot of the game. But the plot of the game, uh, I kind of, <laughs> I haven't played this in a little bit, but to remember is that the, um, hopefully the music's not too loud. The town music is kind of loud. Um, but what you, uh, the, the darkness, the area that you're in is shrouded in this darkness from a different world and it makes people's sanity go insane and it has monsters and it's just a bunch of a bunch of bad news and you're in this town that you know they're trying to fight it off and different things like that and there's more story to it and what caused it and you will find that out kind of optionally by playing the game uh, and I'll, I'll explain that later when we go to the dungeon, but I'm just going to go through... City of Ashbourne, image, a black and white illustration of a building with a dome roof, go through some Aimler, period, the different M -colon. places you can go to. In hyphen app purchases, image, when you first a black start and the white game, illustration a of a wheel, main menu, image, a black and white illustration a of a menu. circular object with a hole in uh, it. So you can click that to do main menu stuff. Cloudy. 
streets of Ashbourne are looking dark and there dangerous as usual, comma, ellipsis, comma, image, a painting of a group of buildings. Every time you go on a dungeon thing where you go through a dungeon level, you do get paid gold by the council. You get access to the council. Uh, I think after you beat a boss that's on uh, floor 15, uh, there are two bosses per dungeon. Uh, one on like floor 15 and floor 30. But what you do in the council, once you can get in there, you basically can upgrade different things of the town. So that's the thing. 680, 75, slash, 75, 10, slash, 10, no event. So all those numbers, you know, when you swipe over, it's kind of weird how they have it laid out. But gold, gold, image, a photo containing supplies, supplies. image, no d sanity, image, a black sanity. and white supply, gold, 680, 75, slash, gold, 680, 75, slash, so 75, 10, slash, 10, no gold. event. Number. Goal 680 75 slash 75 10 slash 10 no event. And then the 75 number is my supplies. Goal 680 75 slash 75 10 slash 10 no event. And then 10 slash 10 is your sanity. Which the, this is why I said the game's a little spooky. It's actually a really neat game. Gold image a photo containing a diagram supplies image sanity supplies image no um, description so I'll available. I'll explain supplies real quick. Supplies is not like an actual like item you use. Um, the dungeon is like I said in tiles. So you move through each tile floor of the dungeon. And every time you take a step, you use up like I like, think one or like one supply. Now I can't remember, the tutorial will tell you this, but what happens when you run out of supplies, you don't like die or anything. But I think every step you take, you might either lose health or Something like that. And I think when you do have supplies, each step you take can slight every once in a while heal, heal you a little bit. Um, you have to do the tutorial, like I said, to learn more, because I don't remember, because it was at the beginning of the game. And I often am very OCD about not letting my supplies go to zero. But it does happen if you're in the dungeon long enough walking around sanity image city event image dancing dragon image okay. a black surface with white text so and an illustration a of a person of dancing you dragon go in the town to do stuff so dancing dragon is basically a tavern where you have a couple different spots like dancing I, dragon I guess I'll just image go to a black this surface with white text show. and an illustration of a person Cozy and warm, comma, the interior of the Dancing Dragon Tavern is a bomb for weary adventurers and city hyphen folk alike supplies. So you click on supplies basically when you want to do a, there's three tabs here bounties, bounties, stash, and stash. So the stash is when you, you do have an inventory limit, and if you have too many items, um, you can uh, put some away and store them here and come back and get them later, which is nice back image a cozy and supply bounties bounties will have a bunch of different bounties you can choose to take on you can only do i think like three or four or a certain amount at, at one time and then there would be a different tab that you go to to actually collect the bounties you just accept the bounties here supplies and then supplies which is what you're currently on you come down here by supplies 25 for 15 gold. The barkeep waves you over with uncharacteristic enthusiasm, comma, his crooked smile revealing a set of half hyphen rotten teeth, comma, ellipsis, comma. <laughs> yeah. um, By supplies. 25 for 15 gold. 75 slash 75. So image. Yeah, white text on a black background. By supplies. 25 for 15 gold. Dungeon, period 75 slash 75. Do not from what I remember. So you have to buy them. Have a calming drink. Restore two sanity for 15 gold. 10 slash 10 yep, image a group of white text on a black background sanity. have a calming when drink restore two sa expand inventory expand two slots for 500 inventory. gold 10 slash 20 expand stash 10 slots for expand stash yeah, basically 10 slots for 1000 gold 60 slash da dancing dragon back image no description available click dancing back, dragon right. window Back I image, know like two a black and white buttons, illustration. Wind dancing drag back image, no description available. 
back. Image. No work. city of Ashbourne hyphen day 17 okay, left per end tap to access count. Dancing dragon. Image. A okay. black surface with white text and an illustration of, of a person. Dancing dragon. Like, I'll explain them real quick, but I'm not going to like go through them. Various assortments. Image. Various white text on a black background. Various assortments. Is a shop. So it's a shop that has various assortments. It literally means what it says. It has, it will have some items, healing items, um, some ingredients, different stuff. It will also have weapons and it will have armor and equipable stuff. But every time you complete a dungeon level, it will uh, randomize to new items. So uh, it's actually kind of interesting and kind of fun because um, you might... I mean, you won't know when you'll see, like, a certain weapon again, like, when it'll come back. So you will have to make hard decisions, like, oh boy, do I spend money on this, or when will it come back? Will something better come up in the shop? So you have to check it every time. So it's, it's kind of neat in that way, and kind of unique. So when it says it's various assortments, it, it means it. Mystic Emporium. Image. Mystic White Emporium text on a black background. Mystic Emporium. Is, um, uh, where you basically go to buy magic spells that you can learn and use. Um, this game doesn't have like an MP system, it just has a turn system. So, um, for instance, you use a certain spell and then you, you can't cast it for another certain amount of turns or whatever. So it doesn't have like MP or like SP or anything like that. It's just kind of turn based. And like, yeah, you just go to get spells there. Blacksmith. Image. Blacksmith. White text on a black background. Um, Blacksmith. What you would expect it to be. You can upgrade your armor and equipment and weapons. Although it co like it costs, I think, gold and it takes equip um, or it takes um, materials that you get, like steel ingots. And depending on the better the material, the better the upgrade will be, and uh, so on and so forth. And, that's kind of the blacksmith. It, like I said, the tutorial will teach you more in depth about this stuff. I'm Guild house. Telling you Image. What there is. A white logo on a black background. The Guild, Guild house. house is where you can learn attack skills, like physical attack skills, and also passive skills. Some that can be very useful in the dungeon. And so make sure you choose it. Also, um, when you learn a spell, um, depending on your level, I think every five levels or something like that, it, or it might be something like that, you get an extra slot to learn more spells and attack skills and stuff. So you have to level up to be able to get more of those. But with the ones you do have, you depending on your level, you can level them up. So if, say, you have, um, I don't know, an attack or a fireball spell or something, you can um, level it up and make it stronger. But it depends on the level that you're at different things like that but you'll learn more but yeah so they're upgradable and passive skills are upgradable and it's really cool and in depth boiling cauldron image the white text cauldron. on a black background I said there were boiling cauldron in the game and, um you can actually find steel ore and take two of them and basically merge them together to make a, a steel ingot and you can do other recipes and stuff so it's like a, you know a, like a cooking type thing that you can do Character image a character. white logo I'll on a black character background. In a character just to show you some of the stats. Journal image an journal. illustration of a person with text on a black background. The journal, journal kind of tells you what like your bounties are that you accepted, and also you go to the journal page to accept the bounties. The bounties uh, will be you know uh, clear every step on every tile of the floor in the dungeon kill a certain amount of this enemy and you can like hold on to the bounty until you have it finished um there's no like time limit on it uh, or get this specific item and stuff like that training grounds journal image an illustration of a person with text on a black background like journal that, so training grounds image a black training screen with a white grounds. border okay so occasionally sometimes after you complete a dungeon thing, a, a raid will happen on the town sometimes. And you have to choose which company. There's like three different groups 
that you want, like, that you can choose from to protect the town, and they'll tell you what kind of monsters they are, and what if they have advantages of, like, some are good, if one group's good against, like, undead, and they use, like, magic, others, like, another group's, like, mercenaries, so, when you go to training, you can upgrade each group with money, you can also boost their morale with money, and so, that's a thing, <laughs> I guess, so, uh, keep that in mind, but it's a small little thing, but it is neat. It's just an extra little thing that's added on to this game. World map, image, a black map, screen with a white border. Where we're about to go. That's how you choose where you want to go in the dungeon, so we'll do that. Like I said, this is going to be a long video, so I apologize. World map, image, a black screen go with a white map. border. Map. To hyphen select dungeon, image, an gonna illustration gonna of a map with text dungeon. on it. Altar of Oblivion, image, map, Sunken Grotto, image, a photo of Ashbourne, image, so Ashbourne, no description available, grid. Sunken Grotto, image, a so photo of illustrations, Sunken Grotto. You go to another dungeon until you've, like, completed certain things or completed a certain level or gotten yourself to a certain level. The first one is the Sunken Grotto. This is the one that you start with that's open. Um, and then you go through different dun- the whole point is to go through all the- all the main- dungeons and get to the end to this final area to try to stop this darkness um from another world uh there are after you complete the game the main story there are extra dungeons you can do if you want um that are just after but that's the grotto glacial pass image a black and white image of a black and, and white pass. logo on a black and dungeon. white background glacial altar of oblivion image a glacial pass image um, altar of oblivion image altar a black and white image of a book cover with text altar oblivion um it's an actual area you go to it's not a dungeon you go there and you can um unlearn all your skills so if you like I said, you only have a limited amount of skill slots. So, say you messed up and you don't want a skill anymore, you can get rid of it. Get rid of that skill and then make it blank again so you can replace it with something else. So, that's that. That's a tip for you. Glacier Sunken Grotto image. But we're go a to photo the of illustrations. Bunk Sunken Grotto so image. A photo of illustrations. Bunken map. To hyphen select dungeon image map haunted quarry image of map to hyphen select a complex of caves stretching along the shore of the northern basin period. Explain that dungeon level reached colon seventeen. Um, each like you can never go back to a previous dungeon. You can only go forward. So once you complete like sixteen, my only choice is to go to the next level seventeen. So uh, I'm not sure if that matters too much, but it might. Um, enemies colon enemy type period human image yeah, a black and white illustration types. on a enemy type period un, enemy type period muata image enemy type period undead image and it'll tell no you description what kind of enemy available types are here. enemy type enter dungeon image a white logo on a black background okay, sorry. enter I dungeon what I was doing here. um but entering the dungeon enter dungeon image a white logo on a black background enter dungeon okay so I need to explain the dungeon. Um, you put your finger. Night sky. Night sky. This is you. Image. A black a, and white logo okay, on a white so background. I, this is, takes a little bit of learning. There is a grid. Now the squares are not labeled. Okay. But you can still get around and this is what you do. So there's so much to explain, and I didn't even tell you what my about the stats um, of the character, but sunken grotto hyphen level 17 comma you are at tile number 21. So at the floor, at the like top of your screen, the top like left corner. Sunken grotto hyphen level se sunken grotto hyphen level 17. You can sunken place grotto your hyphen level 17 comma you are at tile number 21. Like what floor level you were on. Sunken Grotto hyphen level 17, comma, you are at tile number 21. And so you're randomly placed on a tile and you're trying to find the exit. Now, uh, there are f fights, random fights on different tiles. And another thing 
is there's events that can happen which will use your stats depending on to make the outcome of the choice you make and all sorts of different stuff it's really cool um another thing is there's pieces of lore scattered on different tiles throughout all the dungeon levels that will explain the story so that's why i say it's kind of optional whether or not you find it um i apologize if you hear music in the background a uh, car is driving by with loud music um but uh what was i saying yeah so the lore is kind of scattered and so you kind of gotta find it and be thorough and go through all tiles of the dungeon to try to find it but um sometimes you can just go to the exit of a dungeon and find it and other times you will have to find a key to the dungeon exit um that's a thing um on the square that you appear on you can leave the dungeon and escape but you basically where i'm on 21 i'd have to step off and go back to the dungeon entrance although you lose like i think half your gold or like a, pers a part of your gold if you do that so kind of takes a big hit um but so you what you would want to do night sky this is you image you, a black and white logo on a white background the, this is you thing that's you on the on the grid right and i'm on this is me this is you image and I'm a on black and white logo on a white background you swipe left outdoor to go to the next tile outdoor golf ball i just went to the next tile and sometimes you'll hear stuff i just actually ac activated an event weaponsmith apostrophe s arsenal a thick plume of smoke rise wet dungeon event image yeah, a, a black event. weapon a thick plume of smoke rises from the chimney of a small wooden hut by the side of the road period as you make your way around the corner of the dwelling comma you are greeted by a barrel hyphen chested old man who presents himself as a weaponsmith comma and offers you to have a look at his wares comma ellipsis comma trade leave i'm just gonna leave, leave. but there's stuff like that and now if you don't actually do a thing in the event you can it'll actually move you back to the tile you were previously on so i'm gonna i'm still back on 21 but you can actually if you didn't activate the event and you just left you can go back to that event and activate it um if you haven't already night sky but so you'd swipe right and then you tap on that square and then you'd move forward and then you'd move through the dungeon that way you can also swipe left and then go kind of like backwards through the through back through the dungeon and then that's kind of how the game works um 6 470 slash 725 down here at the bottom is like sanity image of 10 slash 10 health image 80 slash 80 80 slash 80 night sky night sky Night, 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 sky. Six four hundred seventy slash seven level image. A black and white illustrate six hundred eighty. Gold image. Healing potion image. A you have kind of a hot bar for items. Jinko leaves image. No description um, that available. You can tap on and quickly use in battle and out. Um. So it's kind of like a hot bar. Potion of tranquility. Soma image. No description available. Increase your sanity. Seventy-four. Supplies image. Your An supplies. illustration of a gray circle with a I white move. cross on it. Now there is a way where you can go and look at your stats and go to your full inventory to figure out what you want or don't need or need to use. Um, you can find that button. I I'm trying to f I tried to find it now, but I'm wasting too much time doing that. So you will have to try to find that on your own. But it is there. Um, I'm gonna try to walk through the dungeon a little bit. I'm gonna go off grid a little bit, but it does take a little trial and error. You gotta find where you were. Night sky. Night sky. Night sky. Event image a black and white illustration oh, yeah, and of a person holding a camera. This is you. A thick plume of smoke rises from the <laughs> chimney of a small wooden hut. Character sunk journal wheel main men dungeon event 80 slash 8 health 10 slash sanity 6 level 600 gold 
healing potion. Trade. Here, I'll, I'll just do it. Trade. Back. Image. Weaponsmith apostrophe S arsenal. Window. Back. I Show menu. Show menu. Healing potion. 15 gold. Image. So White I'm text. Show. Shop, show. Back. back. Window. Back. Image. A back. Image. A black and white illustration of a window. This is you. Image. This is you. I but, um, as you saw, if you don't do the event, it'll tell you that it's an event on the square. This is you. Image. A black and this white logo on a... I swiped right, and I moved to the next thing, so I should be on... I'm, I moved two over, so I should be on, like, 24. Friday, July 29th. Sunken Grotto hyphen level 17, comma, you are at tile number 23. Okay, 23, but still. Um, and you can go back. I, on Sir, I can't remember. On this one, you might have to swipe back twice. Like, on, like, swipe left twice to go backwards, because it's, like... This is you. Image. A black and illustrations. Make a camp and rest question mark. Okay. Left paren restore 40 HP right paren. No. Outdoorsman. Yes? No. Okay, yeah. No. Um, on Android this isn't an issue, but on iOS it is. So when you swipe, you have to swipe left twice to go backwards. Um, that, that's a thing that you shouldn't have to do. Like I said, on Android, it doesn't do that. Character panel, image, a black and white sunken grotto character. But yeah. Night Scott. This is you, image, um, a black and white logo on a white background. So swipe left twice to go backwards and swipe. This is you. Swipe right, and again, you have to tap because you you moved to a the next square. Diagram. Even though it's not labeled. Sunken Grotto hyphen level 17 comma you are at tile number 24. There you go. Um, so sanity. There are certain dungeon events you can have happen where it will maybe hurt your sanity. And then there are these monsters. Uh, the, the different ones appear, the deeper and darker dungeons. You can hear how the music's kind of dark and scary. Because that's kind of a grim quest. It's really cool. But there's these things I don't remember what they're called maybe I'll get into a fight with them if I get lucky because the fights are random on the squares and uh, once you've went over a square when you go back over a square that you've already went over it has a higher chance of you getting ambushed by enemies um, that's something to note uh, uh, I'm gonna try to move forward a little bit but uh, your sanity the, the more it goes down um, the more like when you fight these certain enemies some of their names are basically they're little black ghost type things I think or dark darkness monster type things that are based on the sins like greed and lust and you fight them and when they attack you they do damage but they also take down your sanity and then when your sanity gets lower, things get bad, and then you can't even tell what monster you're fighting. It'll just be a question mark. So, uh, sanity is very important. Um, there's also other things with it, but you'll learn. Night Sky. Night. Night. Night Sky. Gotta find where I am again. Um, I would also like to note in battle, there are some attack skills that you have to, like, Du like double tap which obviously you can't do that with voiceover so you might have to triple tap and turn voiceover off there are some issues with that night sky night sky illustrations this is you image a black and white logo on a white background but i found where i am i'm just gonna keep going forward so swipe right tap and then i just moved forward swipe right again this is you image a black and white logo on a white again. background and then next. Moon. And you move to the next. This is you. Image. And then you just keep. This is you. Going image. A black and. Diagram. Night sky. Night. Illus. This is you. And then you can keep checking where you are. Um, when you get down to the very bottom, some dungeons can be longer depending on the dungeon size. What you want to do is swipe down. 
uh, when you're at the very end of the dungeon, on the last floor that you think you can get to, make sure you swipe down if like something seems weird and you haven't found a key, because there could be more dungeon and you can't just get there. Uh, it's not revealed on the screen, so you might have to swipe down. That's something really important. Night Scott. Nights. Night. This is you. Image. A black and white logo on a white background. Show you battle real quick, and then I'll finish this video up. Logo on a black background. Are you sure? Dungeon exit. So image. Dungeon a white logo on a black just background. Forward. Um, you can choose to exit it if you want. Are you sure you want to leave the dungeon? Question mark. Yes, comma Lee. Not yet. I don't want to leave. Not it. yet. Character pan. Night sky. Unfortunately. Night sky. This is you. Image. I, I a black and white myself. logo on a white um, background. You can if you find where you are. This is you. Image. You a black and white logo up. on a white background. Night sky. You can move to tiles above and below you if you wanted to play like that. That's the thing I do if I have to backtrack through the whole dungeon or something. I'll just go down the left side tiles and just move up and up and up and up. But, uh, that's, that's the way you can get back really quickly, or if you want to be more free, but I just go through it, like, just going... This is you. Image. A black and white logo right, on a white background. Um, you'll just go through all the tiles naturally when you're going through it, um, and it'll just move you to the other side. Night sky. This is you. Night sky. Night sky. Moon common nights. This is you. This is you. This is you. Image. Scattered lore, comma, Val period won the world coal in general. The world of Irwa consists of three large land masses separated by oceans and seas. P Continue. Yeah, that, like, that, Continue. That's, that's the lore I was talking about. Character panel. Night sky. Night. Night sky. So the game is very neat and it's fun. Night sky. Night sky. But this is you. This Image. Is the a black and white logo on a white admit. background. This is you. Night sky. Night sky. And the battles are random. This is you. Ball. Oh, thank God. Shadow I Hound. Got into a fight. 14 slash 14. Image. A okay, black so and white illustration of a star. Shadow Hound period 14 slash 14. Items. And it's turn based. Shadow Hound. So at the 14 top, slash 14. Image. A black and white illustration of a star. Di Shadow Hound. These are the 14 enemies. slash 14. Dire Rat. 12 slash 12 uh, image an illustration shadow hound 14 combat screen there's only image. ever three no description available shadow hound direct shadow hound period 14 period 14 12 comma 12 shadow hound 14 slash 14 image shadow hound dire rat 12 slash 12 image an illustration of the white bird on a black background dire rat 12 slash 12 image an illustrate shadow hound 14 slash 14 and image a black and a white illustration of, of a star but how you actually play is you find the portrait dire rat for us 12 slash 12 your image below it dire rat dire rat 12 Below slash 12 image is an illustration of the white bird on a black background dire rat period 12 slash dire rat 12 slash 12 image an illustration of the white bird on a black background dire rat period 12 slash 12 that portrait dire shadow hound so you hear it on shadow hound move to a different thing and this is the attacker i'm under the shadow hound and then you're going to double tap eight pyrotechnics a normal attack and then they're gonna attack me as you hear. Shadow Hound, 6 slash 14. Image, a black and That's white illustration of a star on a goes. black background. Shadow Hound, as period, 6 slash 14. With, now with magic attacks, um, you come down here, I don't even know if I have any, but if you do have magic, you have different battle things. 74 slash 80. That's my health. Sep. Sep. Stats. Image. A black and white logo on a 10 slash 10. That's sand. Spells. Image. A black and white illust. Skills. Image. So no tabs. description. Spells. spells. Image. A black and, and white illustration of a tree with white text on a white background. Spells. On and use. Um, 
I don't know why the skills aren't that way. The attack skills, but the spells you can just use easily. Skills. Image. Skills. No description of items. Image. Items. No defend. Image. Defend. An illustration of a pipe. Retreat. You Image. Retreat. No description available. You have a retreat. To fail of that. Turn colon two. Turn colon retreat. Def items. Skills. Image. Skills. Image. Like I said, with skills, there are certain things you have. You can't just select and use a skill. You have to do a little thing in the attack area to activate it. Sometimes that might be double tapping. Obviously, that doesn't work for iOS, like voiceover users, because I've tried to like, because that would be like a quadruple tap, and I've tried to do it fast enough to make it happen. There isn't a, one that works. It's like a stab or something. Then you double tap, or you double, you hold, you double tap and hold, and then on that in front of the monster you wanted to use against, and that works. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess I'll dire rat, twelve slash twelve image, an illustration of the what dire rat. Did I double tap and shadow hound? Six slash fourteen image, an illustration said, of a star on a gray background. Shadow hound period six slash like fourteen. The, like they don't have an option to just be used without doing a little thing in the attack area. Dire rat. Nine people. Shadow hound. But. Dire rat. You kind of get the point. Outdoor. You kind of get the point. So, I'm gonna just cut and come back to just the main screen for some final things that I'm gonna go over. And we're back at the title screen. Uh, it would have taken too much time to just kill those monsters. Um, this video is already way too long. So I apologize for the really long video, but the game has so much stuff in depth about and like in depth about it that I really wanted to showcase that because it's so it's, it's really cool and has this spooky RPG vibe and I actually really like it. It's like four or five bucks if you want to buy the full version on iOS because like I said, you only get to play a little bit of it. Um, they have you know your standard stats. Um, they have a, the stats. Well, you'll find out when you play the game, but it it doesn't have that many stats. It's like four or five. There's an, like an armor stat, an attack stat, a magic stat, and a magic resistance stat, and your HP. So pretty basic, but it's, it's really fun, and there's different ways to play and different ways to go about it. And there's different challenging ways. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've played Grim Quest old school. RPG. Like I said, it's on iOS and Android. Let me know if you've played it, if you like it, and uh, what your thoughts are about it. And uh, like I said, I will put a link in the description for both versions. Hopefully, I remember. Uh, but yeah, I, I apologize so much for this long video. But hopefully you enjoyed it and learned something. I will be back with more, a couple more game overviews. But uh, if you liked the video, please like it. If you, you know, really liked it, please consider subscribing for more and all that good stuff. Uh, hopefully this video turns out because <laughs> it was really long. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for listening. I will see you in the next video.